of two previous. Um, so this is just a very brief overview of what we do with um, our organisation down here in, in Wales, Health for Health Professional Wales, uh, provides mental health support to NHS Wales staff and healthcare students. If you could pass on to the next slide, please. Um, as you'll see, it's uh, funded by Welsh Government and administered by Cardiff University. And for the QR code that didn't work for people, there's a link in the chat there. We were originally set up in 2012 and we were, our, our offer was uh, for doctors only living and working in Wales. We were funded by Welsh Government, we still are. Um, it provided a free confidential uh, tailored service and over the eight years before we expanded we uh, supported 619 doctors. So just, just a handful, probably on average about two a week and we had very positive feedback. Next slide please. As of April last year, we were commissioned by uh, Welsh Government to expand the service that we were providing uh, to all of the NHS frontline staff, although we changed that to all staff in, in, in the NHS. Slight difference there, obviously, uh, from June onwards. And we did so in a virtual space. So the team is entirely virtual and uh, we managed to expand both in terms of our repertoire, which I'll come on to shortly, uh, and, and how we delivered our services in the virtual space. Next slide, please. You can see that our referrals went up dramatically, and this is just over the last year and continue to rise and give you some idea that we're doing somewhere around 35 to 40 uh, calls per week. So no, nothing on the scale of the uh, in English uh, contingent earlier, but um, certainly a massive difference compared to what we provided in the first um, eight years of our service. Next slide, please. Basically, our service offers, offers these tiers. Um, our clients approach the service through self-referral and primarily we use a web form, although there is a help desk telephone number on the website, which I dropped into the chat. That um, initial contact gets you in, in touch with one of our doctor advisors. They're, they're pretty much all GPs, but not exclusively. Uh, within two working days and those GPs are trained obviously in terms of the role uh, and following a conversation with one of our doctor advisors they will advise uh, the client one of the following tiers so peer support we have a fairly robust peer support network across Wales again mostly through telephone and virtual means uh, we have some self-help resources on our website we have some guided self-help. I've heard Silver Cloud mentioned earlier, and we have a, uh, an offering here in Wales that's administered by Powers Health Board that we signpost some of our clients into. And we have some of our therapists that we work alongside who also offer some guided self-help. Um, we also have a PTSD program called Spring, which is administered by our director, uh, John Bisson, who's a psychiatrist. So that's a, a guided self-help platform for uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. The, the main thrust of our offering and, and similar to what we did for the first eight years is, is, is CBT therapy through uh, BABCP accredited therapists and Welsh Government funds up to eight sessions. Obviously since COVID we're doing all of that in the virtual space which has been fantastic in terms of offering because previously and you can imagine in Wales we were quite restricted geographically. Uh, now we're, we're, we're struggling with the geography much less until we go back to face to face, but we've now got where we had, I think, half a dozen therapists, we've now got somewhere over 30 um, working across Wales. So that's that's a, another area of expansion, which we're really, really pleased with. And just finally, we are starting to screen specifically for alcohol use disorder in order to try and assess and look for uh, opportunities to refer people into services. Yeah, you know, we recognise that through lockdown, people have, people's drinking has increased and we recognise that's very true of the workforce as well. Next slide, please. This is just a rough pictogram to give you some indication of where people have heard about our services, ranging from anything from occupational health services, from their managers, from word of mouth primarily or through their GP um, or through other, other uh, people who've been con in contact with our service. Uh, and have used therapists uh, from, from our contingent. Next slide, please. Uh, and just a, a rough outline, I think these stats are about a week or two out of date, but you can see for yourself, there's been a quite a large range of people where we were originally only for doctors. Um, over the last year, we've expanded to quite a significant number of different 
professional and supportive uh, aspects of the National Health Service. And obviously you can see pharmacy represented there in the middle group under therapy, under the therapeutic badge. Um, but um, the, these are very small numbers. We realize we're only touching the tip of the iceberg. And that's just for your sort of understanding that we, we have managed to do one thing successfully and that's move out of just offering for doctors. Uh, next slide, please. Um, this is to give you a rough indication of how we're trying to um, gather some data on the different geographical areas. And as you would expect, most of those refer to Southeast Wales, which is where the largest proportion of the population live. So, um, you know, we've been successful in reaching out to some of the more remote areas like David Powers and Powers teaching uh, health board areas. But to be fair, they're, they're quite hard to get into uh, and get the networks working uh, to get people to refer in, refer themselves in. Next slide, please. Uh, we've gathered some data on the sorts of reasons why people have contacted our service and there are no surprises on there, I'm sure, and have touched on many of the things that my previous uh, colleagues have spoken about. Next slide, please. Uh, you can see a rough breakdown of those tiers that I mentioned there. As I say, the vast majority of people that come to our service, and we've had somewhere over about 1,050 people in the last year come to our service, so nothing on the order of scale that I've heard previously the vast majority of people that come into our service go on to have CBT, but you can see that we've referred a significant proportion onto that self-help mechanism at Silver Cloud, a handful into peer support and other services that uh, are around, such as the BMA. Uh, and you can see that we are picking up some cases in terms of the alcohol use disorder assessment, the little bar at the bottom. Next slide, please. So this is my second to last slide, I think. Um, our future plans are continue to consolidate the, the, the service and uh, sort of build on what we're doing, um, trying to reduce some of that geographical variation, trying to continually improve what we offer in terms of uh, patients, or sorry, I should say clients accessing our service. We've also brought on um, a patient advisory group, group. So this is a lived experience that are contributing to the development of our service as well as a specialist advisory group, particularly looking at some of the more specialist areas of the therapies and supports that people need. And we have ongoing training and supervision for all of the various tiers of our service where we can. And lastly, um, Welsh Government have committed us to um, supporting social care, which will start later this year. So our, our contingent will health will be health and social care. And uh, that's my the end of my talk. So if you want to go on to the last slide there, um, you've got the you've got the QR code. You've got the at HHP Wells if you want to follow us on Twitter. Um, there's a, a, obviously a telephone number and, a, and an email address. Or if you want to ask me any specific questions, you've got my email address there too. Thank you very much.